Welcome once again everybody to the Worms Reloaded Arena for yet another 1v1 match between our two juggernauts that are Deathwish808 and JJ a load of crap. Let's take a look though at the current standings following their first five matches in this series and Deathwish is romping away with it. A lead of 13 points to three over a load of crap. He's... Um, Really been taking it to a load of crap in this series so far. Four out of five wins. Can anybody stop the juggernaut that is Deathwish808 in this series? Or will he take an extended lead after the action tonight? All right, guys. It is time to jump into the action here as Deathwish808 gets us underway with a bit of terrain selection here. I'm sure we're going to be going for... The usual sort of pond that these two guys like to compete in. There we go. There is our pond. I think we're going to go for this layout here as um, the game is currently deciding who will go first. Two games in this video tonight, I am told. So let's see how things unfold between Deathwish and a load of crap. A load of crap is the first to go. However, his worm here, Colin, is... Um, in a bit of an awkward position, not really much you can do. Maybe take out the bottom of the brolly if he wants to try and open up a little bit of space. But it's not really going to help him later on in the game. He just jump ropes the, the, the turn instead. And we head on over to a Deathwish, who is on the other side of the map. I think we're probably going to see a bazooka shot across the left-hand side of the map. Um, he'll probably go high, but it looks like he's going to go low, actually. Looking at this angle, he is going to go low. Hits his own worm into a barrel, which got... Causes explosive damage, pushes a load of craps worm into uh, a mine, and that damages uh, a lot of us. Let's take an action replay of that right there. The bazooka shot there from Deathwish808 initially coming in, hitting his own worm, but close enough to the barrel to send his worm into the drink. That actually catapulted a load of craps worm into a mine, which caused a secondary explosion there, damaging both of a load of craps worms there. And um, that was actually some pretty big damage from Deathwish, enough to take him back into the lead in this confrontation. Back with a load of crap right now. He's got this worm on the right-hand side of the map. Um, looks like he's going to loft a... He's not going to bazooka. Is he going to bazooka? He's got the win to do bazooka. I would be more entitled to go for a grenade shot here, but let's see what a load of crap decides to do. There is an explosive barrel and a mine here. Deathwish is in a very dangerous position because that explosive barrel will cause the extra overkill on Deathwish. And I think uh, if he can, a load of crap can get the mine up there, uh, that's going to be curtains for that worm. A load of crap, though, is changing it up. He's switched the grenade. He's going for the lower worm instead, interestingly. And that's surely going to push that worm into the drink. And. Um, <laughs> actually kind of backfires on a load of crap as well over half his worm damage there uh, the explosion actually knocks him back towards the explosive barrel and uh, a load of crap doing the fire dance there taking the extra damage Deathwish now on the other side of the map here jumping across the barrels I think we're going to see a nice little grenade roll down to this worm here no he's yeah we're going to go for the grenade roll and I think Deathwish will probably back himself up um, back over the barrels down to safety got to be careful of those barrels though exposed damage on the barrels it does come down to him it does send him on a, a massive fire and look at that fire damage death wish is going to be kicking all the threes um 63 damage uh, load of crap but down another worm it is three on two here i think yeah three on two in a load of crap's favor but death wish has the more health at the moment a load of crap now with these worms down here. He can get them out because of the, the damage Deathwish has caused. I think we're going to see a cross-map bazooka shot. This could, uh, as we said in the, the previous turn, this could really put this worm on the right-hand side out of action. He goes high, though. He does manage to send the worm into the drink. Deathwish down to one worm here. And uh, a load of crap is really looking strong in this match here. I think for this shot here from Deathwish, we're going to see a... Um, a grenade tossed down to the 72 worm. Is that enough damage on the 11 worm? It is indeed. And oh my god, we are down to a one-on-one. -on -one. I was not expecting that at all. Nicely played from Deathwish808, bringing it down to one-on-one. -on -one. A load of crap with the health advantage here. 37 to Deathwish uh, Death and 48 to a load of crap's worm here. But um, one good shot here from a load of crap. And the match is over. Let's see what he's going to do. He's got the win with him for a bazooka shot. Can he just loft it nicely and get a direct hit? That would be the best outcome here for a load of crap. He's thinking about it. He lines it up. 
it's going to go low and uh, we're not going to see any damage there unfortunately so now the table has turned and a load of crap is in a really compromised position here against death wish 808 um death wish with the three wind as well it's going to be a bazooka shot um if he goes high even here i think he's going to push a load of crap into the water so let's see what happens it's gone low and i think a load of crap is in the water and he is out of the game. Deathwish coming back there from a three-on-one situation to win the game with one remaining worm. The action is about to get back underway here as Deathwish once again is selecting the terrain. Um, real um, unexpected outcome in that previous match. I really thought uh, a load of crap, the tables had turned. He was actually going to get a big win um, against Deathwish there when he was a three-on-one situation. But... Um, Definitely that uh, bazooka shot let him down as we get another pit and we are ready to go. Who will get to the first turn here? Just thinking about it. It's down to a load of crap once more with these uh, worms, the worm on the brolly here. I think we're going to see a high cross map bazooka shot here to do uh, Deathwish's worm on the top left here. There's a lot of explosives around him. What can he do from here? It's actually gone low into the barrel, the fire. Um, bounces off towards the left. He takes a little bit of damage to Deathwish. He's a low left worm, but however, um, he isn't really able to capitalize a big deal. And now that worm that was just injured in the previous conflict is now up on the Oki. And um, let's see what uh, Deathwish can offer up here. He's got a two win, so it's not, he's going to be able to pull off the bazooka shot. I think he's going to go for the high worm here, looking to drop it into the drink. No. He actually hits his own worm. That is catastrophic. And then the after damage there sends it in to the drink. And a load of crap worm managed to spire. But let's take another look at that action. If Deathful Shade Away was attacking his own worm, then this was absolutely perfect. The direct bazooka shot hits his worm, sends him up into the air towards the fire barrel, knocks a load of crap's worm back onto that mine to cause a secondary explosion here, knocking Deathwish's worm into the water, damaging both worms and uh, swinging the favour of the match so far into a load of crap's hands. And uh, that's got to admit, that's going to be pretty catastrophic for Deathwish 808. Back with the action now, JJ with a 3 on 4 advantage here against Deathwish 808. His worm here, however, is not really going to be able to do a lot here. Uh, he's got the bazooka out. Is he maybe going to open up a bit of area? No, he's trying to curl one back, but I don't think even with a, the strongest of wins, you're going to get enough of a curl back on there. Um, but as two matches ago, uh, Loader Crab had a worm in a similar situation, and he wasn't really able to do a lot with it. So, um, interesting to see how this one plays out here. I think... Uh, Deathwish here going to go for a high ground and maybe roll a grenade down here. See if he can do some damage to this uh, 100 worm of a load of crap. I think he's still got the bazooka out though at the minute. He has. Let's see what uh, sort of damage he can flick. No, he is swapping to the grenade. I thought that's a safer option. One second grenade underneath to avoid the damage to him and the extra fire damage from the barrel as well. A load of crap doing the fire dance with a 46 damage there. One more than you would normally get from a direct grenade kill. Or shot, sorry. Not kill, a shot. Um, interestingly enough though, a load of crap, I do believe, is going to have the worm on the left hand side here. And he's got big, big options here. He could try and put a grenade down to Deathwish's 81 worm, or he could try and put a grenade up around there, all those explosives. What he's got to be try careful of above him though, is that mine might roll down. So I think he's going to take the lower shot. He does indeed, and um, Deathwish's worm is actually flung into the air towards the left. But that is enough damage because I think he was close enough to the explosion of that explosive barrel to cause the extra damage to the worm. And we are now down to a four on two in a load of crap's favor. What can Deathwish do here? It's going to be either attack on the 17 or the 54 worm. Looking at the win, it's going to be the 17. He goes low, but he does get a bit of splatter damage. Look at that fire though above that worm. Is it going to rain down on a load of crap's worm? Oh, he gets away with it by the skin of his teeth there. My goodness, it was so close to landing on his head. I think the other fire that's still up there at the moment is going to avoid him. The fire actually goes out, and uh, that threat is alleviated. As we go back to a load of crap with his 11 worm here, he's going to have to go for this worm on the left, and uh, I think his worm is now tucked away nicely enough underneath that ledge. To, if that mine rolls down, it's going to avoid him. So I think that worm is now in the safety. Let's see what he can do here with this grenade. Uh, sorry, this bazooka shot. He lines it up. Quite a lot of power on it. It goes high, though. He catches the explosive barrels death wishes worm doing the fire dance and it's 60 damage there a uh, 15 
more damage than you'd normally get from a direct bazooka shot. But um, you have to say, even in this situation, Deathwish is not looking good. Although, saying that, a load of crap has three worms that potentially could fall into the drink at any time. So he's got to be very, very wary of that. We've got a three-second grenade here. A two-second, sorry, now from Deathwish. Maybe going to try a Plinko bank shot here to the 54 worm. He does indeed. It rolls a little bit too much and a bit of nine splatter damage. But opens up that alcove nicely now to actually get down to that 11 worm as well. A load of crap has got to be very careful as he has about that. Look at that fire right next to his worm on the left-hand side. I think it's going to burn straight down and just going to avoid him. It might even go out of this turn. So I think he's going to be saved from that one. Uh, he's now got his 54 worm here. And Deathwish opened up this alcove. We've talked about this before, but opening up that alcove, sometimes you've got to really think about it. It's going to now give a load of crap a free shot at Deathwish 8 to 8. I think it's going to have to be a lofted grenade and try and get a mid air explosion to catch Deathwish to worm with the splatter damage. It does indeed. Uh, causes a little bit of damage. I think that was 22, was it? No, 29 damage. But. Um, you know, damage is damage, and Deathwish now back over to the left-hand side of the map here with his worm. The fire has gone out, but I think we're going to see a load of crafts worm heading off into the drink. We do indeed. Um, Deathwish taking a bit of uh, damage himself, and he's reduced his he health to one worm. But I, interestingly, I thought a load of crafts worm was dead in the water there. It's not. He's managed to land enough and high enough on that umbrella down there for 69 damage now. Deathwish is still in a 4 on 2 situation against him and this is is not looking good for the reigning uh, the the reigning uh I don't know what I'm trying to say the reigning what <laughs> the, the the current league leader I shall say sorry about that guys couldn't really get my worm up a load of crap there trying to do something with the worm high takes the explosive damage across him and um ex it exposes himself to 16 damage deathwish now with a bazooka shot sorry a grenade shot uh, off the rolly rolls it down the hill and that does send a load of crap's worm into the drink to lose his first worm we are now three on two in a load of crap's favor but I think we're going to see uh yeah a load of crap 69 worm here what is he going to do? I think if this was me, I'd be more inclined to try and attack the worm on the right, given that the one on the left is only on one health, and um, anything remotely near is going to finish this worm off. But it looks like he's going to go for the one on the left, interestingly enough. Grenade shot was lofted up, but uh, wasn't able to really capitalize and um, hit Deathwish in that instance. Deathwish once again there, being given an absolute lifeline with this worm. I think we're going to see a two-on-two -two situation right at the end of this shot. Deathwish with the bazooka not going to take any chances here. It's going to be straight down and a load of craps worm is into the drink. We are two-on-two -two here. Still in a load of craps favor on the health, but um, you've got to look at these worm positions here and think that uh, Deathwish is going to be here on the high ground. Um, a load of crap here with the wind. I think we're going to see a bazooka shot. We do indeed. And it knocks Deathwish's worm down onto the brolly for the 37 damage. And um, looking at this now, honestly, you have to say that Deathwish 808 is looking the stronger of the two from a worm positionings here. He's going to take out a load of crap's worm here, maybe take some damage. He doesn't take any damage, but he is dead. 45 damage on the 45 health worm. He is out of here. And a load of crap now for the first time in this game takes a two-on-one advantage with um, a load of crap's worm sat at the top, not really being able, able to do a lot here. His only real saving grace here is can he get rid of Deathwish's worm on the right hand side of the map before he gets round to having another turn that is the big question I think if Deathwish's worm on the right gets another turn it's going to be curtains for a load of crap because he's just going to take out the um, geometry below him oh my god what a jump there from a load of crap to that alcove that he opened up and this was what I was talking about in the previous map and sorry in the previous video in the previous commentary I think that's what he was trying to do before Deathwish took the ground out from him, uh, beneath him that was an amazing jump there wasn't expecting that all almost down to 10 seconds on the clock though a load of crap needs to hurry this shut up direct rocket shot on the one health worm he is one on he is down to a one-on-one -on -one situation but um you've got to imagine here that one Bazooka shot here from Deathwish 808 is just going to send a load of crap worm down into the drink and Deathwish is going to take another W. You've got to expect it. The bazooka shot misses. He miscalculated with the wind. But 
What does that offer up for a load of crap? The only thing he can really hope for here is a a four wind going towards the right. I don't think we're going to get it. Looking at the uh, the speed and the direction of them leaves, it's only a one wind. I honestly do not know what a load of crap is going to do here. Death Wish has has got the possibility here just to shoot that the, the right side of that wall where a load of crap is stood, and that should be enough splatter damage and momentum to send him down into the drink. It's only going to be a matter of time, and I think another, another win for Deathwish808 is on the cards once more. He lines it up, he shoots, and he is in the drink, and as rightly predicted, Deathwish takes another win, two wins in this series today. My goodness, he is on an absolute storm right now. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. What another couple of amazing matches from these two guys. And as much as you think you can predict what is about to happen, the beauty of Worms is that you really cannot. JJ in that final match there with a, such an advantage but still manages to lose the game. Um, quite a uh, dramatic turnaround there from Deathwish808. But when you come to think about it, that is the reason he is on top of the table. This man is absolutely relentless, despite on a couple of occasions in these matches, damages in his own worm through um, inaccurate shots or just unluckiness. Because a lot of the time, it's not just down to you when you damage yourself. It's just the game in general. But um, managing to capitalize when it matters to take the win in both of these two games um you've got to take your hats off to him he is absolutely storming away at the top of this leaderboard um with the wins here and um today's two victories is only going to strengthen his position even more both matches though went down to the one-on-one -on -one, so it, a load of crap did keep it as close as he could but um Something dramatic, drastic, drastic and dramatic is going to have to happen, though, if a load of crap wants to come back and take the win in this series. And with the action complete, let's take a look at the updated league table here. Deathwish808 is absolutely storming away with this February series. Played 7, won 6. The 7 worm bonus puts him on 19 points. A load of crap. Just doesn't seem to be able to get into this series at all. He has only won the 1 with the 1 worm bonus. Puts him on 3. A 16 point deficit to Deathwish808. But only halfway through the month, can he do enough in remaining matches for this month to bring it back and take that top spot away from Deathwish only time will tell guys thank you very much for tuning in once again to this worms reloaded action really appreciate your support we'll be back real soon with some more worms action and don't forget if you want to get involved in future series just leave us a comment and uh, we'll try and factor you in to some of these matches but uh, once again we appreciate your support until the next match see ya